welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. Today I'm going to show you how to do really straight, perfect hems. This is buckram. Buckram you could buy on a big white roll, which is about a yard or a metre wide, and you can just buy metres and metres of it. And you can also buy it as an iron-on product. This one here is used in curtain manufacturing. So if you can't find buckram on a roll, Pop into places that make curtains and drapes and see if they'll sell you some of this. Get yourself a few metres at a time. I'm going to show you how to make a length of tape that you can use to do perfect hems every time. Now this technique is very much the same as the band roll technique. I don't think it's even possible to get band roll in Australia anymore. So if you can find somebody that will sell you some buckram, um, I'll have a look on Amazon and see if we can get some there. Stick around. I'll show you how we go about turning this tape into a band roll substitute to do perfect hems in any size. This piece of buckram measures three inches wide and you'll cut it up as long as you like. So if you're doing a great big circle skirt, you might want a couple of metres or yards of this so that you can use do your hem all in one go. I've just cut up a small sample of this for the, just to show you how it works. So this buckram is quite stiff. It's almost like a lightweight cardboard and it's got perfectly straight edges on either side. So you can see the weave inside here. Just take a pin and pluck out the first row of thread. And you'll continue to do this until you've got the width of the hem that you want. So if you're doing a half inch hem, then you'll take off enough threads to create a half inch. And it's easier if you just do them one at a time then you don't get it all tangled up. So I'm doing a different measurement on either side. So this side here, I've got a quarter inch measurement and this side here, I'm going to do a half inch. So I'll just write down, well, I may not be able to see it anyway, but I can write down on the side half inch, a quarter inch and half inch, set that aside and I can have a couple of really long strips that I can use for different garments. So it does get a little bit tedious picking out one thread at a time. Um, you can do two, it's, it's not too difficult. So if you're going to do a couple of threads at a time, get it started, place it down on the table and pull both your threads out at the same time, just on the side like that. So I've got my quarter inch and my half inch ready to be used for my hems. Now to use the tape on a garment that you want to hem, so let's assume this is our garment, we want the fabric right side up and choose the width of hem that you want to have. I'm going to make a hem along here. I'm going to use the half inch hem size. You'll place your tape over the top of the fabric with the fabric facing right side up. Normally you would go and have this extending beyond the entire length of the fabric, but this is just to show you how simple it works. We're going to take this over to the machine now, and what we're going to do is stitch just on the outside of the threads here. We don't want to stitch on this full side here. We want to stitch right next to the edge where there are no strands going down this way. Can you hear the sound those birds are making? I'm going to show you what they're doing out there in a minute. Place the tape over the top of your fabric. Now, if you're going to do a back stitch, do the back stitch off the, fa off the tape. We don't want to do any back stitch on the tape, otherwise it'll be too difficult to remove it later. So we're just going to bring the needle down just to the very right edge of the tape. Once you've stitched that down just at the very edge of the tape, so we're not stitching on the dark side, we're stitching where the threads have been pulled, take the tape and flip it over. So you'll see that you've got a nice straight edge just there. Bring the fabric around again and we'll flip the tape over again. 
because we're using this heavy buckram it's going to keep the edges nice and straight so it's not going to buckle under the weight of the fabric we'll take that back to the machine and we're going to stitch really close to the edge here so you can see how nice and straight that hem is now now you might probably wondering how am i going to get this out well because we've stitched on the open edges of the tape all we need to do is just pull this away from the fabric and there we have a really beautiful straight hem and we can do exactly the same with the narrow side of the tape so this is ready to be used again on another project you can use this over and over until it's worn out and I'll show you how to do it with a narrow one. And we'll go and do a quarter inch hem now. So this was a half inch, we'll do a quarter inch. Exactly the same procedure, place your tape over the top on the right side. Flip this over and then flip it over again and just push the tape so that it makes the edge sit nice and flat. And once again, when you've finished, just pull the tape away from the fabric. There we go, I've gone and pressed the fabric and you can see how nicely the seam sits. So this is the one that's half inch wide. It's just a nice even stitch all the way down, nice and flat and you've got a really nice equal half inch length all along the hem. Same on this one here, we've got a quarter inch hem here and it's just a really nice straight stitch. On the other side, here we've got the half inch and your quarter inch hem. It's just a really nice way of doing hems quickly, easily, without using pins or clips and using this buckram tape over and over again. So before I sign off, I'm going to take you out to the fernery and show you what these magpies are up to. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now. I wonder if you can see them. I've got four magpies sitting there in my fernery. This is what I get to look at outside my sewing room window. But there's four of them just sitting there in the fernery, squawking away. It's a really nice spot for them.